Brian Cox has given the world something truly profound to think about. According to him, one of the brightest and most remarkable stars in the constellation and the entire night sky, Betelgeuse, the red giant star, is on the verge of a supernova explosion. All the data received by astronomers over recent years also appear to confirm this impending astronomical catastrophe. Now the pressing question that lingers in the minds of both scientists and the general public alike is this. Are we genuinely about to witness a disastrous supernova explosion in our lifetime, or is this simply another case of speculation fueled by unusual observations? To answer this, it becomes essential to look deeper into the dangers surrounding Betelgeuse and to carefully examine the warnings Brian Cox has issued about this potential supernova. The giant red star of significant proportion, which earned its name as Betelgeuse, shines brighter than most of its celestial counterparts and is positioned within the Orion constellation, more specifically located at the position that represents the hunter's left shoulder. For centuries, this bright reddish point in the night sky has been one of the most easily recognizable stars to the naked eye. Although it has long remained in the focus of observers due to its distinctive features and easily spotted location, the recent scientific findings concerning it have greatly intensified curiosity, speculation, and a renewed wave of interest in this giant celestial body. Naturally, a star is classified as a typical supernova candidate if it possesses a mass measuring at least about eight times the weight of our own Sunday. However, the celestial marvel known as Betelgeuse goes far beyond this basic threshold, breaking all conventional protocol by being not just massive, but staggeringly huge, more than 700 times the size of the Sun, which is already more than most people can imagine, and an estimated 15,000 times more massive in total. The recognition of this giant star can be traced back to the ancient Greek astronomer Claudius Ptolemy, who, in his era, catalogued and studied many celestial bodies. At the time, he was often secretive about the detailed attributes of stars, largely because they were not readily known or measurable to the instruments of his age. Observations were limited primarily to noting color and position in the sky. However, following major advancements in astronomical instruments and investigative techniques over the centuries, it has become far easier to analyze and monitor celestial bodies like Betelgeuse. This progress has allowed scientists to gain detailed insights into its mass, its temperature, its luminosity patterns, and its stage of life. The giant red star Betelgeuse seems, in a cosmic sense, to be aging in a way that fascinates researchers, growing and evolving as it continues to exist. It is estimated to be about 8 to 8.5 million years old, which by stellar measurement places it in a senior age bracket, but by human standards would still be considered incredibly young. With its current physical properties, it is safe to say that if the vast sphere of Betelgeuse were placed within our solar system, its surface would most likely extend far enough to displace the first four planets, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This mental image alone leaves scientists in awe and prompts deeper investigation into just how this star managed to gather and maintain such an extraordinary mass. Astronomers have helped us understand that its enormous size is not the result of some random cosmic accident, but rather a natural stage in its general stellar life cycle. In this life cycle, Betelgeuse is presently in its twilight phase, a stage marked by expansion, surface cooling, and the ongoing fusion of hydrogen into helium in its core. Its current condition as a massive red and extremely luminous body is known as the supergiant phase, a stage that represents the culmination of millions of years of evolution involving complex processes and gradual changes. These transformations have altered it from the hot, blue-colored star it once was into the giant red star we see today, a change driven by the delicate balance between nuclear fusion in its core and the relentless pull of gravity. The noticeable red color of Betelgeuse is due to the cooler temperature of its surface when compared to other stars, including our sun. While the sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface is significantly cooler at about 3,500 Kelvin. This lower temperature allows it to cast light at wavelengths that make it appear red to our eyes. Just as its size reflects the star's current growth phase, its color provides crucial information about its condition, the gases in its outer layers, and its overall state at any given moment. Ancient records from both Chinese and Roman sources suggest that around 2,000 years ago, this giant star was described as having a yellowish hue. The first known record of it being distinctly red comes from the 9th century, described by Arabic scholars, providing an important clue in tracing its evolutionary path. Aside from its color, its brightness is another one of its defining physical attributes. Betelgeuse is classified as a semivariable star, meaning that the intensity of its light naturally increases and decreases over time. This property of fluctuating luminosity has fascinated astronomers and astrophysicists for generations. Betelgeuse generally follows a 400-day cycle of brightness changes, along with a longer secondary cycle spanning about five years. 
This pattern was first documented in detail in 1836 by Sir John Herschel, though there are suggestions that it may have been noted even earlier through Aboriginal oral traditions. Yet despite these predictable elements, the wonder of Betelgeuse lies not only in its color changes or its cycles of brightness but also in the irregular way it sometimes exhibits these shifts. Unlike most stars that maintain a relatively consistent pattern of variability, Betelgeuse occasionally changes its intensity in unexpected ways, dimming or brightening without following its usual cycle. This unique behavior offers scientists valuable clues about the star's inner structure and dynamic processes. One of the most striking recent events occurred in late 2019, when Betelgeuse captivated astronomers and stargazers worldwide with a dramatic and unexpected change in appearance, a phenomenon that became known as the Great Dimming. The star began to lose brightness mysteriously, fading at an average rate of 0.1 magnitude per day. By February 2020, it had reached its lowest recorded luminosity in recent history. Normally, Betelgeuse dims roughly every 430 days, with dark, cooler star spots appearing on its surface during these cycles. But during the Great Dimming, the effect was so pronounced that even casual observers in light-polluted cities could clearly notice it looking fainter than usual. One complicating factor in understanding this event is that the light we see from Betelgeuse is not from the present moment, but from about 725 years ago, due to the time it takes for light to travel from the star to Earth. This delay creates a significant limitation in predicting or understanding real-time changes and future events for the star. Still, Investigations using the Hubble Space Telescope allowed scientists to analyze Betelgeuse patterns and properties with unprecedented detail. Hubble sensitivity to ultraviolet light enabled researchers to study different layers of the star's atmosphere, revealing processes involving massive, turbulent convection cells. In addition, the ALMA Observatory in Chile provided ultra-high resolution images of Betelgeuse, revealing features like an enormous plume of gas extending outward from its surface. Then, in February 2021, the star went through another dim cycle, registering a V-band magnitude of plus 1.64, about 64% dimmer than its typical brightness. This reinforced the role of star spots, regions on the stellar surface where the magnetic field is especially strong, creating cooler areas and directly influencing brightness. Betelgeuse magnetic field is believed to be thousands of times stronger than that of the Sun, capable of trapping gases in loops and generating zones of intense magnetic activity. These star spots, which can be larger than Earth and sometimes cover up to 20% of the star's surface, are key players in shaping the star's brightness fluctuations. As Betelgeuse nears the end of its life, scientists continue to speculate about its future. Many theories suggest that massive ejections of gas and the formation of dust clouds could act as precursors to an eventual supernova explosion. Observations with the James Webb Space Telescope have added further intrigue by revealing evidence that, years ago, Betelgeuse experienced a violent eruption, losing a significant portion of its visible surface and sending huge amounts of dust into space. This finding gives further weight to the theory that its life is approaching a dramatic end. While dimming is considered a natural part of a dying star's final stages, the combination of dimming with such large-scale surface eruptions is far less common, leaving scientists eager for more answers. The Sun, for example, undergoes occasional coronal mass ejections, releasing outer atmospheric material into space, but nothing close to the scale of what has been observed on Betelgeuse. Using James Webb, astronomers are now able to investigate these massive ejections in far greater detail. Current findings suggest that stars lose increasing amounts of mass as nuclear fusion in their cores begins to shut down. In different types of supernova candidates, the rate of mass loss can significantly influence the star's ultimate fate. Regarding Betelgeuse specifically, the rate of mass loss we see now could very well be interpreted as a likely prelude to a supernova event. The Hubble Space Telescope's data supports the conclusion that the Great Dimming was caused by a gigantic ejection of hot material into space. This ejected material cooled and condensed into a dust cloud, which then obscured part of the star's surface, reducing the amount of light that could reach Earth. The dust cloud was likely formed from plasma at extremely high temperatures, erupting from a massive convection cell on the star's surface, then moving outward until it settled in the outer layers. As the temperature of this material dropped, it solidified into dust particles that blocked the star's light. Ultraviolet light spectroscopic observations from Hubble were crucial in determining the exact timeline of this darkening event. The mass of material ejected was later calculated to be around 400 billion times greater than the mass released in a typical solar coronal mass ejection, an amount even heavier than Earth's moon. Meanwhile, Betelgeuse moves through space at